The table below represents the number of hours a student worked and the amount of money they earned. Write an equation. Okay, so where uh, D is the number of dollars earned and H is the amount of work. So H is um, independent and D is dependent because the hours you work determine the amount of money you'll be making here. So I want to look for a slope here. I notice that here, when I go from 8 to 15, right, our slope is 43.75 over 7, right? It's the dollars earned, or delta Y, delta Y, over the number of hours worked, delta X. So this equals our slope. So we can simplify this. We get 43.75 divided by 7. We get 6.25. So that's the amount of dollars, delta Y, over the for every hour, delta X. So we want to use this now to find the Y-intercept. Well, Y equals MX plus B. M is the slope, B is the Y-intercept. We have M now. It's, it's 6.25. So we have y equals 625x plus b. And to find out what b equals, the y-intercept, we can plug in our, our y and x values, which of course are d for dollars earned, that's, that's y. And number of hours is x, right? The number of hours you work tells you how much money you'll be earning. So we can plug in any of these points to solve. For the B, I saw so the I'll plug the first one in. So here we have six point two five times eight, and right that has to equal fifty when we add B. All right, so six twenty five times eight is fifty, right? And so fifty plus B equals fifty. Fifty plus B equals 50. If we solve here, we subtract b from both 50 from both sides, we get b equals 0. So that means our equation is y equals 6.25x plus 0, or just y equals 6.25x. You can test that here. This means that if this is true, we multiply our number of hours by 6.25, and we get the dollars earned. So 19 times 6.25 should equal 118.75, and it does. Just replace it with the appropriate variables and you're finished. So they say D, number of dollars earned, equals 6.25 times hours, the hours you worked. Using this equation, determine the number of hours the student were working for 40 hours. So D equals 6.25 times 40, and what does that equal? Well, 40 times 6.25 is $250. Make sure you use the equation here to represent your work.